Good morning. Welcome to our morning prayer service on March 23rd. I'm really excited to be leading the service along with uh, Carol Carol, one of our lay leaders. Good to see you, Carol. Good to see you too, Drew. The Lord be with you. And also with you. God of light and love, new every morning is your grace and mercy. In this time of prayer and devotion, let the light of your presence open the eyes of our heart so that we may hear your voice and follow your will today. Amen. Our psalm for today is Psalm 105, verses 1 through 22. Let's hear the word of God. Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call on his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises to him. Tell all of all his wondrous, wonderful works. Glory in his holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek the Lord rejoice. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his presence continually. Remember the wonderful works he has done, his miracles and the judgments he has uttered. O offspring of his servant Abraham, children of Jacob, his chosen ones, he is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He is mindful of his covenant forever, of the word that he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant that he made with Abraham, his sworn promise to Isaac, which he confirmed to Jacob as a statute, to Israel as an everlasting covenant, saying to you, I will give the land of Canaan as your portion for an inheritance. When they were few in number of little account and strangers in it, wandering from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another people, he allowed no one to oppress them. He rebuked kings on their account, saying, Not much, my anointed ones, do my prophets no harm. When he summoned famine against the land and broke every staff of bread, he had sent a man ahead of them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. His feet were hurt with fetters. His neck was put in a collar of iron. Until what he had said came to pass, the word of the Lord kept testing him. The king, and the king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his possessions to instruct his officials at his pleasure and to teach his elders wisdom. And now I invite you at home to pause this video and uh, pray through this psalm on your own. And then when you are ready, you can unpause the video and uh, we'll pray it together. Oh Lord, we give thanks to you. We call on your name. Make known your deeds among the people. We sing praises to you. We tell of your wonderful works. Glory to your holy name. Let the hearts of those who seek you rejoice. We will seek the Lord in his strength. We will seek your presence continually. We will remember the wonderful works you have done, your miracles and the judgments you have uttered. We are the offspring of your servant, Abraham, children of Jacob, your chosen ones. You are the Lord, our God. Your judgments are in all the earth. You are mindful of his covenant forever, of the word that you commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant that you made with Abraham, your sworn promise to Isaac, which you confirmed to Jacob as a statute, to Israel as an everlasting covenant. You said to us, to you, I will give the land of Canaan as your portion for an inheritance. When we were few in number of little account and strangers in it, wandering from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another people, you allowed no one to oppress us. You rebuked kings on our account, saying, do not touch my anointed ones, do my prophets no harm. When you summoned famine against the land and broke every staff of bread, you had sent a man ahead of them, Joseph, who was sold as a slave. His feet were hurt with fetters. His neck was put in a collar of iron until what he said had come to pass. Your word kept testing him. The king sent and released him. The ruler of the people set him free. He made him the Lord of his house and the ruler over all his possessions to instruct his officials at his pleasure and to teach his elders wisdom. Amen. And now I invite you to join us in our prayers of petition. God of compassion, we bring our prayers before you. We pray for our world. We pray for those who are sick. 
We pray for those who are suffering. We pray for those who are lost. We pray for the poor, the homeless, and those on the margins. We pray, unite these prayers with the rest of the church, using the prayer you taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Thank you very much, Carol, and it was uh, good to see you, and we will see you all this afternoon for our evening prayer service. Thanks, Drew.